Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalis for the Sultans of the Monsoon Seas, where we are playing as Hormuz. We just got back from vacation. I have not touched this save file in, like, close to a month, so I don't have any recollection of what's going on, except that we're going to help uh, the Mamluks carve up uh, Karakoyunlu and Farce, I believe, before I save the game, that I already went in and marked out the provinces I want. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna try to control a fair section of the um, of the Gulf here. Where are my armies? Is this our only army? I feel like this seems small. Okay, we actually can build up a larger army. That is cool. Um, we're gonna need some more artillery. Oh yeah, we got money for this. I'm not already building any armies, am I? No. So we're going to get some fresh troops that are going to bring down our, uh, our, um, drill a little bit. Oh, that's why I'm not really building many armies, because I don't have enough money. We're going to stop drilling. Um, we are going to accept this call to arms. And I think... Let's go down to speed three, because we're at war. Yeah, we're going to be... we fighting on two sides here. Um, I want to make sure the Mamluks haven't claimed any of the same land that we want. Likewise for Dulkadir. Yeah, okay. So there's no competing territorial claims here. So we want to... I'm building one cavalry and one of those guys. Okay. We want a naval battle without even noticing it. Is this our trade fleet? I think they're going home, maybe. Well, so the stuff we've claimed... Whoop. Actually, keep doing what you're doing. Tech trade. Can we protect trade in the Indus at this point? I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to put them on Gulf of Aden just because it's closer to where the action's happening. Okay. I'm going to grab one more cavalry. I feel like we should probably go the rest infantry for now. When in naval battles. Who owns this now? Oh, that's Coruscant. Okay. We still need to grab that. Diplo relations. Royal marriage alliance, alliance, alliance. Yeah, we have a we have Multan as a vassal. Where is Multan? Oh, is this are they, okay? Are they their own country? So they're not part of Coruscant. Okay, so this is what I'm remembering now. So we do need to annex them eventually. Fifteen thirty one is the date we can do that. So there's the farce army. Your entire army is a farce. Let's see what they're gonna do here. Okay, they're gonna go try to siege down our vassal. We are going to allow friendlies to attach to this army, and we are going to catch you guys out. And no terrain penalties applicable here. Sweet. We routed them. We've become ruthless. I wonder if we can... Eh, probably not. There's forts blocking the way. Okay. So we got our two new horses and our new cannon on the way here. Before we really start pushing out, I want to build up to our force limit. 
uh, even though it's going to dilute our drill a little bit. I want to have uh, as good of a uh, good of an army as we can have. So we need another ten. Are we on speed three? This feels slow for speed three. Oh sweet! So yeah, there there's a uh, Hormuz is actually um, transferring occupation of the provinces we want to us, or the Mamluks are anyway. Not Hormuz, we're Hormuz. New draperies. Yeah, ultimately I'm not that concerned about this particular war. I think we're going to kind of roll over them for the most part. But uh, Hanafi scholars are no longer around. Um, we will probably keep them around because we're still behind in that tech category. Funny enough, it costs us admin power. I should have looked to see if uh, it's actually worth it. All right. Our army is almost up to speed, but our allies are winning the war for us anyway, so we don't really care. They did promise us land, right? I'm pretty sure the, the de declaration of war said they would promise us land, but we'll see. We'll go up to speed four, just because our holdings do not look to really be in danger, particularly, and uh, I just want to get these built. We're gonna lose great power status to Denmark. Well, we've gotta we've gotta take some provinces then. Get some Shamshir infantry going on. Shamshir was an excellent sword. Gonna give it up for the Shamshir. Cool. Gonna occupy all the shit we want. Fantastic. So we'll at least get this province finished. I don't really care if we don't take all of our, our um, ambitions and farce this war because that might be a little much to deal with admin wise and farce is probably too large to vassalize i i mean if we were leading the peace negotiations i'd probably see if we could get them to release a nation down here but we'll see religious civil disorders happening i think the age oh yeah the age already ticked over okay now we've got a full army. A lot of them are green troops. Um, I need to remember what I want to take. So this whole region in here, mostly the coastal provinces though. So I think we'll start with this. Fantastic. Hopefully the game sound isn't too loud. We did... Um, we're, we're doing a new recording setup uh, for this episode. So if the game sound is too loud, I will have that fixed shortly. I did a sound check before we started, but it's possible that I'll uh, need to do another one. Okay, we're going down to speed three now because we actually are getting attacked. This is going to be a close fight. Very close fight. We should... Uh, we'll try to hang on for reinforcements. Bloody them as much as we possibly can. That wasn't good. Somehow we're remain. Oh, we're not remaining in control of that province. Never mind. At least we got plenty of uh, manpower left. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to have to transition into a supportive role here. So, we're going to come up this side and try to support the military operations of our allies. We're not doing a very good job of supporting their own operations. <laughs> 
Yes, we'll renew our shit with you guys. Oh, why is this... Oh, because we split them in half, that's why. I was like, that can't be all that's left of our army. <laughs> that can't possibly be all. Once again, the Europa Universalis for uh, ally wrangling comedy of errors rears its head. Okay. Now we can get down to some business here. Now we can get down to some business. Alright, they're getting chased into the hills. I'm gonna go try and finish sieging this shit. And if it looks like we need to run back down here for a stack battle, we will do that. It's also possible that they're trying to loop around the Zagoros to ambush us. In which case, we will deal with that when we come to it. Remember how I was going to do, like, a colonial game? Like, kind of a colonial thing, and this has just been land war. <laughs> One land war after another so far. All right. Split these guys off. Let's see what we can do here. Make sure we keep a close eye on the entirety of the warscape, as it were. And if this is this is looking like it's going to be a big stack battle up here, but I think they can handle it. Yeah, they're going to get chased off. If they want to come down here and try and fight us, they can. This I don't really care about. These provinces are le far less essential. The only reason I'm even taking this castle is so that this province will not re revert back to them. Because we want... Wait, is this is this a single area here? Why didn't I mark all of this out? Yeah, we should also claim this and this. That'll be that'll be our Persian border right there. I have a feeling this guy is gonna try to uh Pull some shenanigans down here. Come help us! <laughs> Come help us! We need help! Please help! Send help! Yeah, we're gonna take so many more casualties in this war than we ever reasonably would have needed to. Alright, we're done. We're done fighting. You guys wouldn't help us, so. We're going home. We're staying home for the rest of the war. You guys can fight them. That is all that we care to uh, participate. I'm just going to hang out on our island. Because you guys don't understand how stack battles work. Oh well. We're only going to be a net like 9,000 manpower in debt. Which is not the worst thing ever. We have the larger army. And yet we've lost multiple major huge battles. Um, also guess what? You cannot cross here. We can tech up. We're not working on ideas right now, are we? Yeah, we should just go ahead and tech up. Modern theocracy. Let's finally take uh, probably exploration ideas. 
Yeah, that gives us two colonists. Whereas expansion only gives us one. Yeah, we'll take exploration ideas. That's our intention, is to start going towards exploration, so. Let's see if we can discover Australia or something. Now, now we're going to have to go save our vassal, aren't we? Great advisor and our employees died. Let's see. I feel like maybe we should turn off our national focus now. Let's just turn it off. And then I kind of want to hire Diplo Advisor. We really could hire all three advisors, and we might as well, as soon as we have the money. Coming in to save your asses. Don't know why we're taking such disproportionate casualties. The Calvinists are here. Making a strong showing. And once again, the Mamluks fail to <laughs> adequately uh, win a stack fight. Manpower debt is at 11,000. That's all right. It's not too bad. These are our galleys, right? Yeah, we'll go sink this shit. And they're not going to be able to build any more boats on the Gulf because all of their ports are occupied. Good deal. All right. And then re-blockade the Strait of Hormuz. Coordination in this war is abysmal. Our army is grand. You know what? It is. Our army is, in fact, grand. There is no disputing that. Mushashan separatists. Declining power of the emirs. That's fine. Rebels have taken control of one of the provinces that we wanted. We really can't be bothered with it at this point. Honestly, I mainly want to gain control of these two provinces. Like, if we if we have control of the entire state of Basra, I'll be pretty happy. Dahistan. Okay, they've got a port back, so they can start building boats again. Bodie McBoat faces. Curious how long the, the Mamluks are going to care to keep this war going, actually. <laughs> let's see. Do we have the money? Okay, yeah. Let's get the... Let's actually get the National Unrest Advisor. Because she's going to... Help us not have to deal with domestic shit for a while. Oh, why don't we go reoccupy this? It'll be fun. One thing that is a little bit annoying about Drill in this patch that I'm wondering if uh, possibly might be rectified in the future is the... Uh, how... Um, how easy it is to lose it in comparison to how hard it is to get it back. It seems like kind of a, a mismatch. 
Like, if you lose one big battle, you can have years of drill down the drain. I don't care about foreign spy detection. And never have in any EU4 campaign ever in my life.